This is a percentage of what's been happening. I'm going to get into what the province is doing. Some of you will know it's not only the local, but it's also the education and our local taxes. That's just a little bit of a background for you to have. The province, over the last few years, has not funded our growth. And this is, I'm not going to get into too much of this. Most of the councillors know it. Most of the councillors have and will continue to hear Councillor and Helga and I talk about that over the next four years. About a year ago, we met with the former Minister of Health, Mabel. Mabel's here somewhere. Maybe there she is. And uh, our good friend, Tan Arnett, and the Minister of Health. I went in, we slid this across to him and said, just before Christmas, right, Mabel? And said, you owe us $9.6 million. What are you going to do? We scared him in about a month. He resigned, and he's no longer gone. But $9.6 million in shortfall in the housing cannot continue. All of the mayors will know, the, the mayors met with the, uh, uh, the new government, we stressed this at AMO, and we're now waiting to hear back. Just so everybody knows, that's 4% of your property tax at the region are to pay for programs that should be paid by the province. And it's 9.6 million, and if we continue to grow, it'll get worse. The next uh, one is fiscal responsibilities. You can't see this closely. All the councillors got this. This is the shortfall in development charges. Uh, the number is 87 million. Rob will know when they always ask, how do you always remember all these numbers? I remember by hockey players' names. 87 is Sidney Crosby. $87 million is development charges not being collected by the school boards, the local municipalities, and the region. And at the region, it's almost 15 million dollars a year that's six percent of your property tax and for years we've tried to get them to change that the uh, memo is actually from mark sinoka he went to all the local municipalities 87 million dollars in development charges not collected and as we sit here today the residents of halton region are subsidizing billionaire developers to the tune of 87 million dollars that's totally unacceptable. We're going to continue on work on getting that changed. 